verse of which is 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 57 through 58. But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, dear brothers and sisters, stand firm, let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The other scripture I'll be reading is Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 18. I was listening to Minister Trent Elmore this morning, and I heard her say that we should train up our children in the way that they go. Um, and when they're old, um, they won't depart from it. And this particular scripture um, resonates with me because I remember as a little girl, my mother used to make me uh, memorize Bible verses, and every week she would test me on one. And this was the first one that she gave me, I think I was around seven. And it has just followed me throughout my life. Every season is always popping up, and I'm grateful for it this morning. So, anyway, um, I will read verses 10 through 12, and then together we will read 13 through 18. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God. 